the director of Sugar Blue Burlesque. Tell us about how it all came about. Well, uh, we started in 2007 and um, we just started as um, three of us as a troupe and um, it's just myself and a business partner and um, we saw a show overseas and then we thought we'd love to bring burlesque to, to Perth and we had a vintage um, dance background, so like swing dancing and Charleston and um, yeah, Lindy Hop, that kind of thing. And um, so we started to put a performances together and um, yeah, after about a year we had um, quite a few shows that we were sort of doing for private clients and then we started teaching after about a year and a half and um, then it just boomed. <laughs> yeah. It's um, grown so much and so quickly actually. Um, now we have uh, lots of different um, amazing performers as well as quite a few troops and um, people doing lots of different shows around Perth. It's it's absolutely fantastic and um, what we've done is also introduced um, the Perth International Burlesque Festival. It runs annually in um, July and um, that has really brought other people, other burlesque performers and to Perth um, to perform um, alongside of our Perth performers. So yeah, it's just been really, really great actually. Yeah. So you're a performer yourself. Where do you draw your inspiration from for your acts and for your shows? Um, actually, my main inspiration is from the 20s and 30s, um, mainly because my background is in like vintage jazz dance and um, Lindy Hop. Um, so I really like kind of more older school styles like um, Josephine Baker who was a very famous performer in the 1920s um, and that's definitely my main inspiration so a lot of my acts really are, are um, themed around the sort of 20s and 30s um, styling yeah and music as well. <laughs> You're definitely someone who is living her dreams currently residing in London you've traveled around the world you run an amazing business uh, and what else have you got planned for the future? Oh gosh, um, well definitely more travel if I can um, and I would like to be able to perform in more places and bring the troupe around to perform overseas and yeah just uh, open it up a lot you know to different communities and, and have more artists coming to Perth again. <laughs> so I guess now's a good time to ask, do you think you'll be heading over the ditch to New Zealand? I'm sure our Kiwi fans would love to know. Oh, would love to, absolutely love to. That's definitely a dream to go to Kiwiland. <laughs> um, no, but hopefully get there um, in the near future and uh, make a plan to even bring the uh, you know Sugar Blue um, with us and uh, yeah, or at least myself. <laughs> definitely, I'm sure they'd love it. So, Melanie, look, thank you very much for talking to us today. Uh, good luck with the show tonight. Oh, thanks so much. I guess we'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> absolutely.